How to set up TP-Link RE650 range extender using web interface. First, plug in your extender into a power outlet next to your rotor as close as it possible and wait for the power indicator to start glow solid blue. Next, on your computer open Wi-Fi settings, open Wi-Fi network list and find the network which is named TP-Link extender. Click on that, click connect and wait for connection. Once connected, open a web browser and in the search bar type in tplinkrepeater.net. Then hit the enter key on your keyboard. It takes you to the web interface. First of all, create your device administrator password. Click in the upper field, create new password. Then click in the lower field and confirm your password. Then click start. You can save your password to your web browser or click not now. Now select 2.4 GHz network you want to extend. If you have dual band network, don't worry, just click on its name. Enter your current Wi-Fi password and click next. Now select 5 GHz network you want to extend and enter your password once again. Then click next. Check your passwords and click confirm. Now you can rename your extended network or stick with default names. Once done, click next. Wait for device to reboot. Once you see this screen, you can relocate your extender. Plug it into a power outlet in Wi-Fi dead zone. Follow the instructions on the screen and make sure the signal indicator around the WPS button is solid blue. If it's red, you need to move your extender closer to your rotor. Once done, you can scroll down in this window, click down and connect your laptop to your extended network. Open Wi-Fi settings, open Wi-Fi network list, find your extended network, Click on that, click connect and enter the same Wi-Fi password as your main rotors one. Click next and once connected, go back to the web interface, click I have connected to the extended network and click finish. Now log in as administrator with your admin password. Click login. Save your password or click not now. Click later and manage your extender from the web interface. You're all set. Thanks for watching.